name is Kevin with Uncommon Inc. And I said, let me go ahead and record a video. Uh, right now, we got this coronavirus thing going on. And in the small business community, uh, one way to support small businesses, people are encouraging you to offer gift cards on your website, right? Um, this video is more tailored to business owners that do services that don't that did not necessarily offer gift cards initially and how they can basically easily sell gift cards um however if you sell if you have any kind of business this should be able to be useful to you to some degree um this video here is going to go over how to set up a gift card in square and basically a method that we would use to put on the website to get people to link to those gift cards so let's go ahead and dive right on into it so in this video um, well, we've already, uh, my client, Miranda Renee, um, I have to shout her out because I'm actually actively setting this up in this website, um, in this video, I mean, right now. Um, so the idea is just that I'm not too familiar with Square, but I'm familiar enough with computers and how programs work, right? So we're going to be able to get this thing up and running for you. But uh, just to let you know, she does makeup, amazing makeup artist. Um, and there she goes right there. Favorite client, I've been working with her for like the last, I mean, what, going on four or five years or something now. Um, but the idea is just that I'm actively going to get this implemented on her site through using Square. So one, you need to have a Square account set up. Once you get that account set up, over here to the left, click on gift cards, and we are wanting to sell e-gift cards, right? It's going to click on configure, and it looks like you'll be introduced with a screen that says set up and sell free e-gift cards. Awesome, right? Everybody loves free, specifically now, right? Um, let your customers buy and send digital gift cards online. They're customizable and free, once again, to use. You only pay for processing once an e-gift card is purchased. Let's go ahead and click on the Get Started button. Um, and it looks like they have some predefined designs. I'm going to go and say, hey, let's add a design. And I want to go ahead and select this um i'm not gonna lie we did already kind of already have this set up but it's literally just a piece of her logo and it says gift card let's go ahead and click on save um yeah let me go ahead and uncheck all of these because these don't these are a little too kiddish for, i believe for her particular brand and I do apologize for y'all having to sit through me unchecking. I wish there was a check all button. Oh, my gosh. I have to click on all of these. All right. Let me click on one more design because I actually have a reversed version of that gift card. Boom. Save. So we got two options. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. All right. So we can do up to four mounts. Awesome. Right. So she's and I say awesome because we specifically talked about what we wanted the predefined options to be. So I'm going to say 25 where she wanted 50. She wanted 75 and then she wanted 100. Right. Um, the minimum load amount. Let's just say we'll do five bucks and then let's say the maximum. I believe they said you could do is up to 500 um, with that. By law to additional plus. And I'm reading this down here below. Value does not expire. Um, it says basically add the contact information. So what I'm going to do is come here. I'm going to copy her contact information. Just paste that in there. Boom. Email. Phone number. Right. Actually, let's go ahead and get that on one line. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. So, oh, this is the best thing in the world. So, for the most part, we've created gift cards. Um, and it gives me a direct link to see those gift cards. So I'm going to click on that link. Oh, my gosh. I love Square so much. Look at this. It's already set up. They can select if they want the black or the white version. 20, 50, 75, 100 custom. From there... They even get the option to go in there and immediately set everything up. Awesome. So the reason why I need this link, the reason why I say it's so amazing is because this is the link that we need, right? From there, we're going to come back to Miranda's website. Now, this is a WordPress website using Beaver Builder. So I'm not too much trying to stress y'all on this. However, your website's built, whether you got Square, Wix, Weebly, a WordPress website, GoDaddy website builder. This is basically, you should be able to do this on any one of those sites, right? Um, for this particular 
instance um, for how we're going to implement it here in this site, um, I want to add like a little drop down thing that says, hey, um, if you something along the lines, if you want to support, you know, my business, uh, if you want to if you're supporting small businesses, click this link to purchase a gift card type deal. Right. Um, so I'm going to hover over here. Let's go ahead and do a header. And I'm going to drag out a announcement bar. And the reason why I'm showing, boom, click on save. All right, so we've got this little banner thing added right here. So we're going to click on done and publish. So now when we go to the home page, right, boom, slides right on in. Support my small business by purchasing a gift card during the COVID-19 pandemic, right? And then they can click this button, and where does it take them? To the place to where they can purchase gift cards. If you want to do this, do this. I mean, by all means, it's not so much as, um, I don't even promote this as like a money grab at this point. I really do say, like, people do want to support small businesses. And I'm somebody that is telling you that because people have been supporting my small business in this time. Um, there's been a few people that have been, like, like, for most part, they've been having to pull back, but there are people actively trying to figure out how can I help the business that I like to do business with, right? In this case, uh, Miranda Renee has a lot of people that, um, depend on her services and they can't afford for her to be out of business. Um, and for the most part, they want to be able to show some support, even in the time of not being able to get the service right now, the way that they know they can support is by purchasing gift cards, a little bit of a marketing thing, right? To get people to want to purchase these gift cards, right? Um, uh, in this way, meaning that you have the ability to do so, but you're probably like, Hey, I don't have, you know, I'll, I'll, I'd rather give you the money directly, right? When you're back open, cause I am going to use your service. One thing that you can do, um, to tell people, to let people know, like we would really, really appreciate you purchasing a gift card at this time is one, you can probably say like, hey, purchase a gift card now, right? And then possibly you can use that gift card to to redeem it for some sort of incentive um, later on when we, do, when we are fully back open and running. So for instance, uh, Miranda Ray probably wouldn't do this, um, but the idea is just like, hey, um, if it's $100 an hour for my services, Purchase a gift card during this time. If you redeem the gift card, which hopefully you would, right? You got money on file with us. The idea is that let's say we just go ahead and take 20% off of that $100 an hour. So that $100 an hour turns into 80 as long as you're using a gift card. You have to purchase a gift card now to get that discount for later, right? Um, so the thing is, is just that that could be like a marketing tactic to, you know, um, try to get people to say like, hey, we really could use your support. And in this way, we can give back that um, for you giving us the support. We can give you some form of a discount um, or incentive. It doesn't really even have to be a money discount. I mean, you know, I it could they could still redeem it. Maybe they get an additional half hour for free. You know, whatever the case is, you can play around with the incentive as needed. But the idea is just that that gift you can leverage that gift card um, to basically give them more than with what they've paid for. Um, if that kind of makes sense. So um, during the, but given the fact that they're purchasing this card um, um, in this specific time, right? Like no one knows when we're going to be able to officially use these cards, um, these gift cards, redeem these gift cards. Um, so the idea is just that I think personally, it would be very, very nice to um, incentivize them even more once all this stuff passes over for them to use what they um, invested in your business um, and supported you with through the gift cards later on. Um, but with that being said, if you like this content, let me know, like for real, let me know. This is the first time I've kind of done like a real quick video um, like this. Um, that's not necessarily website centric, it's more or less of really coronavirus um, centric to help small businesses um, thrive. There's a couple of things that we can probably go uh, um, go over, but if there's questions that you have about what I've done, let me know. I'm not a, I, I have never set up a Square gift card, and I did that for the first time in this video, and I think it went very well. But if there's any other questions, anything that you want to know, any tutorials that you want, I have nothing to do at home right now. And I say that loosely because I'm sure I got a couple of clients watching this video. But literally, other than the few projects that we're actively working on now, I think I'm going to commit to making a few more of these videos for you to kind of watch. Um, and you can use this time to learn more about websites, how you can use them, uh, and things of that nature. So y'all take it easy, be safe, um, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video.